And this podcast is brought to you by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. From now through November 24th, you can get $400 off every window and $800 off every entry and patio door. That's at $0 down, zero payments, and 0% interest for a whole two years. For more information, call 717-727-7558 or drop by rbacentralpa.com slash deals. Remember, offer ends November 24th. It's an exodus from the Keystone State to the Sunshine State. Meanwhile, Pennsylvania's still below average with its business friendliness. This airport's expected to be one of the busiest during the holidays. Lastly, seems like this adoption was meant to be. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and you're listening to Today in PA. Pennsylvanians are flocking to Florida at surging rates, reports the Philadelphia Inquirer. If you look at numbers from the Census Bureau, you'll see that the amount of people heading from the Keystone to the Sunshine has grown over the past decade or so. A lot. In 2011, for context, movers between the two states totaled around 2,000 people or so. In 2022, there was about 20,000. As to why people are moving down to Florida, well, the Inquirer says there's common themes in their reasons pertaining to housing costs, weather, and politics. The states that have lost the most people to Florida, however, were New York, Jersey, Rhode Island, Illinois, and California. I actually know we have a couple of listeners in Florida. Hello. Pennsylvania's got in more business friendly since last year when compared to other states, but it's still below average, reports the Center Square. According to a report from DC-based think tank The Tax Foundation, Pennsylvania ranked 31st out of the 50 states for its business tax climate. It was 37th in the mid-2010s, and this 31st slot is actually its peak in the rankings. This slight improvement, says the Center Square, can be attributed to the lowering of the state's corporate income tax from 9.99% to 8.99%. While celebrating Pennsylvania's new status, the State Chamber of Business and Industry did say via press release, quote, Other states are not letting off the gas pedal, and neither should we. For any of you that might be flying during the holidays, here's some information you might need to be privy to, states PenLive. Insurance discovery platform InsureMyTrip analyzed data from the Federal Bureau of Labor Statistics to find out which airports are expected to be the busiest during the holidays and which have the highest cancellation rates. Philadelphia International Airport ranked 16th overall when it came to predicted busyness. Pittsburgh International Airport ranked 26th for highest cancellation rates. The airport with the highest cancellation rate, however, was Newark Liberty International Airport. My sympathies to those of you that have to go there ahead of time. Ella is a dog that's been with the Animal Resource Center in Bloomsburg for seven years, begins PenLive. Or was with, I should say, because Ella's at long last been adopted by a woman named Caitlin. According to a Facebook post published by the shelter, Caitlin expressed interest in adopting Ella after her previous dog, Joe, died. Not only did the connection between them seem almost immediate, but Caitlin noticed something else. During their first meeting, Ella was wearing a scarf of Joe she had donated to the shelter after Joe had passed away. Guess you could say it was meant to be. That's all for today. For more news, drop by penlive.com. Also, please don't forget to rate this podcast on either Apple or Amazon and to maybe even review it if you want. Thanks ahead of time. And of course, thanks for listening. I'm Claudia DeMiro and I'll be back for Friday's episode of Today in PA. This podcast is brought to you by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. From now through November 24th, you can get $400 off every window and $800 off every entry and patio door. That's at $0 down, zero payments, and 0% interest for a whole two years. For more information, call 717-727-7558 or drop by rbacentralpa.com slash deals. Remember, offer ends November 24th.